My name is Ted Lucas, and I'd like to talk to you about one of my favorite composers. This composer is one of the most underrated and overlooked composers of the early 20th century. Born in Paris in 1893, this composer died at age 24 in 1918 and left us only 22 published works. Who is this composer? Lily Boulanger. Lily Boulanger was the second daughter of Ernest Boulanger, a professor of music and composer. He taught at the Paris Conservatory. Her mother was a Russian princess. Her older sister is the famous Nadia Boulanger, the composition teacher who taught people like Aaron Copland, Philip Glass, Darius Milo, Virgil Thompson, Daniel Barenboim, and hundreds of others. Lily Boulanger is the first woman to win the coveted Prix de Rome. The Prix de Rome is the equivalent of winning the Pulitzer Prize in music composition in the United States. The winner of the Prix de Rome could spend three years in Rome doing nothing but composing music and paid for by the state. Lily Boulanger entered the Prix de Rome competition in 1912 but failed to win because she collapsed in the middle of her performance. She had contracted a serious case of bronchial pneumonia at age two and was ill the rest of her life with bronchial infections and bacterial infections. In 1913, she entered the Prix de Rome competition and this time she won with her cantata based on Goethe's Faust. In a more extensive lecture, I would play three or four pieces by Lily Boulanger and talk about the way she matured as a composer. For now, I want to play the last part of one piece that she wrote called De Matin de Printemps, or On a Spring Morning. This piece was written originally for violin and piano and then arranged for a trio. And finally, during the last six months of her life, she orchestrated it for full orchestra, and it's one of the few pieces we have of works by Lily Boulanger for full orchestra. <laughs> Lily Boulanger died on March 15th in 1918 of tuberculosis. Every year since then, her family, first her mother and her sister, and then just her sister, sponsored a memorial concert of her music at the Holy Trinity Church near Place Clichy, which wasn't far from their home. I attended one of those memorial concerts in 1965 on March 15th. I came away from that concert thinking what a wonderful composer I had just heard and since then I have become a champion of Lily Boulanger's music, talking about it every time I teach music appreciation. So I hope you enjoyed this little lecture and I hope you do listen to more music by Lily Boulanger. Thank you.